Hi guys, I uh, hope everyone's doing well. I know um, you guys are all pent up in your house. So I'd like to welcome you to our uh, first broadcast through Infinite Motion. Um, you guys know obviously we were away, um, intentionally we were away for a week, but we ended up for five days. We had to come home, so um, we started our uh, two week lockdown yesterday. Um, so, of course, the studio is going to be also closed um, for the next two weeks, so um, we will be reposting or making a decision, but we're hoping to open again April 1st, which is a Wednesday night, um, so we'll be closed for the next two weeks, and because we're going to be closed, we're going to um, try to post a series of videos um, that will keep you guys creating and making, um, and then, of course, we'll have all your dance portions that would normally need to hear. Um, we will have... Uh, running through video, so um, if you um, are patient with us, uh, definitely we're going to have our bigs involved as well as um, our students, so helping out the little ones if we do need uh, materials. I'm going to try my best to give you guys um, time in between, so if you do need to collect materials for the different um, classes and the videos that we'll post, um, I will try to give you things and lists ahead of time so you make sure that you are ready and you have them available. Um, for your kids when they're about to do their uh, dance classes. So the first video today, we're just going to start with something really simple. This is going to um, get the kids creating and making, but we're also, you're going to see these used in their dance classes for next week, our Mondays and our Wednesdays. Um, I'm also going to post this video on my Tuesdays and Thursdays. My older girls, you're more than welcome to do these at home uh, if you guys are looking for stuff to do. Um, maybe you're going to do it with a, a younger sibling too. It's a really fun and really easy activity. So um, let's get started. Today we are going to be making instruments and like I said, you're going to use them in your uh, Monday and your Wednesday classes. Um, so we're going to start, I'm going to give you guys just a rundown of materials that I want you guys to collect first and then we'll get started. So um, I've collected a couple of different items. Um, you can get anything you want through your kitchen. So this is an old uh, tub or an old coffee container. Okay. It doesn't obviously have to be as big, but we're going to start with a basic drum. Um, so anything you guys can get that will be um, working as a drum, okay, that you can use the top. Uh, so you're going to collect something like that, any kind of container. It doesn't have to be a big container, maybe it's something small like this. Uh, if you are using something like this, make sure you ask your parents um, for permission. Uh, so that's the first thing, you're going to get a big container, a tub, or something um, that you can turn into your drum. And then the second thing you're going to use for this craft, um, we printed off a picture online, um, something that the kids can easily color in. Uh, but you're more than welcome if you don't have access to a printer or computer. If you guys have um, any coloring books, you can always take out something, a page from your coloring book that you uh, want to turn into your drum face. Um, and then the other thing, the last thing that you're going to need is you're going to need some uh, things to color. So if you're getting really adventurous, um, in your activity, you're more than welcome to use paint, um, but definitely pencil crayons or markers will also work. Um, and sorry, one last thing, you're going to use some tape. So you can use glue, obviously, but tape's going to work the easiest and the best. And also, if you want to redo your face, your drum face, um, then your tape's going to work the best because you're going to be able to take it off and you can redo it if you want to do something else. So we're going to start with your picture, whatever. Um, picture you have ready for your drum face, we're going to start with that. And you might want to get an adult to help you with this next part. So we're going to do um, a lineup of your drum. So let's say you have your container ready. Um, you're going to actually cut off the top and bottom. So you're going to want to try to find a piece of paper and then you're going to cut off the top and bottom to make sure that it fits on your drum face. So again, like I said, you can use whatever uh, containers you guys have lying around. So that may make you have to uh, cut more or less in terms of your, your picture, okay? So we're going to start with our picture. Um, we've had uh, Jacob and Anna do some coloring, so they're going to um, show you their coloring.
pictures, but we have this one already finished for you. And as you can see along the top and the bottom, again, if you need help from your parent to do this or you're not ready to use scissors, get mom or dad or grandma or grandpa to help you. You're going to do some lines on the top and the bottom just to make your drum face. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my picture, my drum face down to size. Tape it onto my drum. And again, if you guys are struggling with this, get maybe your parents to help you um, with the taping job. You want it to just fit around there so it's not impeding on your playing on Monday or Wednesday. So again, you guys are going to tune in on Monday and Wednesday, and I will post um, your your dance classes throughout the week. You might see different segments um, extra aside from the times that you normally would take your dance lessons. So keep checking in on your Facebook groups. Your parents will help you do that. And we'll uh, keep posting stuff for you. Alright, so there you go. Nice easy craft, easy decorating project. Um, you guys can go crazy with stickers or glitter or whatever you want to use um, for that for gems. We also have a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, if you guys are looking more to do um, a shaker more than a drum, we picked out just a couple things. So again, I just found things that were around your house, some beads, um, some change, rice. Okay, anything that you have in the house that's going to help you um, make a shaking sound. And then again, if you're finding little um, containers around your house, we can use that as a shaker as well, and feel free again to decorate them, getting some pictures, okay, making um, different instruments. So we are going to be um, doing the last part of the segment in terms of um, showing you guys some instruments. Uh, we're going to have Annabelle come and help us with some of the different instruments that we have here, and hopefully you guys um, can create some instruments for yourself uh, for you guys to use on Monday and Wednesday. And definitely post underneath the video once we've posted the video. Um, I hope you guys will take some pictures or maybe some videos of you guys making your own instruments, your own drums. Um, we'd love to see what you guys come up with.